Welcome to The Dish Takeout, bringing you all the freshest restaurant news this week. I'm Lawrence Baker, Communications Director at the New Mexico Restaurant Association, and here are the juiciest bites from our newsletter in a short takeout format that's easy to digest on the go. NMRA needs your input on why issues matter most to you and your restaurant. We are preparing our 2024 legislative agenda, and we will be using your responses from the survey to determine what our goals and priorities will be during the legislative session. This is your chance to shape the agenda of our advocacy. We are stronger together. Use the link on the screen to give us your feedback. More than 1,500 culinary professionals ranked 120 foods, beverages, and macro trends to inform the association's 2024 Watts Hot Culinary Forecast in the food categories, comfort, community, and international flavors dominate. Check out the Watts Hot top picks in foods, beverages, and alcoholic beverages and macro trends and see the emerging trends in each category. Are you on track to strike while the trend iron's hot? Get your copy at the link on the screen. The Preserve Route 66 Legacy Business Grant Fund provides financial support to businesses to preserve historic places and spur economic development along the Route 66 corridor, with an emphasis on projects that illuminate the narratives of communities whose places and stories have been historically underrepresented. Eligible projects are those located in the broader Route 66 corridor, including communities and neighborhoods along Route 66. Grants range from $5,000 to $10,000 and no match is required. The deadline is January 12th. Learn more at the link on the screen. Attention restaurant and bar owners, did you know your employees' tips can get you money back from the IRS? The tip tax credit allows employers to get tax credits for tips your employees earn. This isn't your state's tip credit program, and this isn't the employee retention credit program either. This is a federal program that allows eligible businesses to get back FICA taxes paid on tip earnings that surpass the federal minimum wage. Find out if your business is eligible and get your funds at the link on the screen. And finally, Albuquerque Sunport Airport is excited to invite business leaders from Albuquerque and around the state of New Mexico to attend a reception to launch a new business development initiative focused on small, local, or minority-owned businesses. Make plans to attend a reception on Wednesday, December 6th from 9 to 10.30 a.m. at the Sunport Airport Aviation Office Complex for a newly created small business program named Ascend ABQ. Come learn about this exciting new initiative and provide feedback rsvp at the link on the screen you can find all the links from the video in the description don't forget to check out previous episodes and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel or catch us weekly on facebook instagram linkedin and twitter this has been the dish takeout edition for the week of november 29th eat up